Your conditional type logic is mathematically perfect. So why doesn't TypeScript agree? We'll take a real world example. It is a type filtering system. We'll try to see why unions are not being excluded, whereas they should be. We have this wrap non arrays higher order type. Now this basic generic extends an array of any. And if that is true, if that extends, we'll return that generic. And if that is not true, we would basically format that type into an array of that type. So basically any type that is not an array will just turn out to be an array. So let's quickly test this. We'll pass in a string and an array of numbers. The responses are pretty clear, right? We would just be getting an array of strings outputted from this and an array of numbers because this is already an array of numbers. So it's just, it's been written directly and this is returned as an array of strings. Basic, simple stuff. Now, but what happens if you pass in an array of types? Right now, uh, we'll take this example wherein we have this string and uh, array of number. What do you think would be returned? So the expected answer could easily be this. We have the union wrapped in into an array format. But this is not something that happens. We basically get distribution activated here. We unwrap this union, parse in the first type, convert that and then the second type, and then we'll basically unify them again. This is what is returned out. This is what is distribution. This is what actually happens. Uh, any union is unwrapped, broken down, individual elements have been processed, and then they have been unified again for us. Sometimes you want to treat the union as an individual entity, but distribution forces individual treatment. Ready for a simple fix that solves this? The solution is pretty easy.